There are a lot of shows out there in the world today that honestly don't get the appreciation they deserve upon their first set of episodes. It's widely known that arguably the best series of all time, Via MASH, was almost canceled after its first season. And that would have changed a lot of things if that had happened. Other shows have low ratings on one network despite being quality, and then are picked up on other networks where they soar. Then there's Longmire, a show that's had a very curious history of life. So allow us to ask, is Longmire returning for season 7 at Netflix? Number 6. What was Longmire? Starring Australian actor Robert Taylor as Walt Longmire, the dedicated old-school sheriff of the fictional Absaroka County in Wyoming, the show follows the adventures of Walt and his small staff, including Deputy Vic Moretti, Katie Sackhoff, as they investigate the many various crimes throughout Walt's jurisdiction, mixing in plenty of family and personal drama to build out the narrative along the way. The series, which ran for six seasons, debuted on A&E in 2012 but was cancelled after just three seasons. It was eventually saved by Netflix, becoming one of the lucky few to cheat death. But every good thing must eventually come to an end. And after three additional seasons on Netflix, Longmire came to a close in 2017 after six seasons. But why was the show cancelled for good? That is a bit of a mystery, but you could also argue that it was a bit of a mystery how it ended up on Netflix in the first place. Number 5. The Original Seasons One of the main reasons the show was cancelled is because no one is watching it. That wasn't true for Longmire. The show's second season averaged nearly 6 million viewers per episode on A&E, making it the network's most watched original series in history, and somewhat of an outlier in terms of original scripted cable programming. However, at the time of its cancellation, ratings had dropped. The season 3 finale, for instance, averaged just 3.7 million viewers, and 0.6 in the coveted demographic of adults age 18 to 49. While the latter number is a bit lackluster, the former is more than respectable. To compare, Mad Men's average viewership never topped 3 million, while Breaking Bad's first four seasons averaged less than 2 million apiece. It wasn't until the latter series arrived on Netflix that new series airing on AMC started seeing an increase in viewership. So even if Longmire's ratings had dropped over time, it was still relatively surprising when a &E cancelled the show. Deadline reported that possible explanations for the network dropping the axe after three seasons were that the show's audience skewed older, advertisers prefer younger viewers, and the fact that it was produced by an outside studio, meaning it wasn't as lucrative for the network. So while the cancellation was definitely shocking, one might be able to see how a &E came to the decision. The same can't be said about Netflix because it doesn't rely on advertiser money. It's also impossible to know what the show's ratings were like because Netflix doesn't release the data more times than not. While there are outside companies that report these numbers, it's hard to know for sure how accurate they are. So we may never know if more or fewer people found Longmire as a result of its new home. There is reason to believe the former is true though, as the Netflix bump is a real phenomenon, having increased awareness and viewership for shows like Breaking Bad and Riverdale over the years. Number 4. The Netflix Run When Netflix renewed Longmire for a sixth season, it was announced at the same time that it would be the show's last. Without the service's ratings or viewership data though, attempting to explain why the streaming service cancelled Longmire after six seasons becomes more difficult. We have a few educated guesses that don't revolve around ratings, though. First, it's possible that Longmire had simply run its course. By the end of the show's sixth season, it had already covered much of the source material from Johnson's best-selling series of novels that inspired the show. So rather than attempting to move beyond the original story, it's possible the writers came to a decision to call it a day. Another possible reason for the cancellation are actors' contracts. Many contracts these days are for six seasons. And while there's no real evidence to suggest this was the culprit, after all, plenty of shows have run longer than six seasons as actors have signed new contracts over the years. It's still possible that Taylor and or other actors had no desire to sign new contracts to keep the show alive. Shows also get more expensive the longer they go on, largely because of these contracts. So that could have played a role in the cancellation as well. And we do know that while Netflix is all about extending their runs on shows, Bridgerton, for example, might go eight seasons, they are also fine with having limited run series unless it's their top workers. If Longmire didn't really feel like it could do a seventh season, then they might not have felt the desire to make it happen. Number 3. Could a seventh season come? This is a unique question, but the answer isn't that simple. It's been a while since Longmire season 6, and a lot has happened since then. Including a global pandemic, major shifts in what is on Netflix, as well as competition for Netflix, 
and what people are watching right now. Granted, it is possible for them to bring it back, as many other networks and streaming platforms have brought back shows and movies for extra runs. But the key thing here is noted is that the source material is vital to a show like this. See Game of Thrones and how that ended. And if the material isn't there, then why just bring back a show for one season? You might think that the show Lucifer is a great example of doing one more season, as fans were mad that season 5 was the end, but that's a different thing entirely. Yes, it was based off books, but they didn't follow those books like Longmire did. Or at least, not in the major ways that Longmire did. So yeah, could Longmire get a 7th season? Yes, it's possible, but it's also possible that they could just do an ending of sorts via a one-off movie. That would fit the Netflix mold just as well. Number 2. Setting Another reason why Longmire might have been put out to pasture is its history of having trouble shooting it. In 2013, while filming Season 2, wildfires surrounded the filming. The Thompson Ridge Fire, where the show was being filmed, raged on one side of the preserve, while the Trace Lagunas Fire hemmed them in from another direction, covering the sky with smoke. At first, producers tried to shift the shoot and could have continued. After all, anyone who lives in Los Angeles is used to dealing with wildfire season. Given the fact that the small area in New Mexico was full of firefighters and emergency crews, however, producer Chris Donahue said to the Albuquerque Journal that they halted everything because they didn't want to be in the way of any of the responders. The Arizona-based Granite Mountain Hotshots were part of the team that eventually put out the fires. Unfortunately, on June 30, 2013, 19 of those smoke jumpers died fighting the Yarnell Hill Fire near Prescott. All but four of them were in their 20s. The season 2 finale, Bad Medicine, honored the deceased hotshots in the credits, dedicated to the Granite Mountain Hotshots and all the firefighters who saved the historic buildings in the Valles Caldera National Preserve. And while it's true that other shows, like the Paramount Network's Yellowstone and 1883, also deal with filming in such rugged terrain, they're willing to put the time and effort into doing it. And Netflix may not be. Number 1. Miles to Walk Before I Sleep In the end, though, Longmire got to have a long run. There are plenty of series, especially ones on Netflix, that never get to a sixth season. And considering it was a show that survived cancellation to get another three seasons on another network, a streaming platform no less? Yeah, that's special. So, no matter whether it gets a seventh season or not, people can go back and enjoy the first six seasons and know that they got to enjoy a good show. So, what do you think? What do you think of this look at Longmire and what its very unique history of life on TV and Netflix was like? Were you a fan of Longmire since day one? Or did you get into it when Netflix picked up the show? What do you think of the possibility of a seventh season? Or do you think it should end where it is right now? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll see you next time on the channel.